and low future chartered accounts i hope you are doing well now before we go further first we will revise what we have discussed yesterday so what do you mean by buyback buyback means purchase of its own equity shares by a company and then they cancel those equity shares and they cannot hold those equity share as an investment it means that when the company repurchase their own share they have to cancel it they have to cancel it they cannot show it as an investment on asset side of balance sheet what are the benefits of buyback of share to increase earning per share to increase promoters holding to support the share price and to pay surplus cash so we can do buyback out of fresh issue of shares or out of profit but when we say they can do buyback out of fresh issue of shares it means that they are issuing some some shares in the market and when we say they are buyback out of profit it means that they have to transfer the face value of buyback of share to crr account they can transfer to crr account by utilizing free reserve and they can utilize securities premium as well so second point is that the pre same when we do the buyback same class of shares cannot be issued in the market so suppose if we are doing buyback of equity shares we can issue preference shares in the market then there are some other points it should be authorized by article there should be special resolution and there are some other tests also that we will discuss maybe today resource test share outstanding test and debt equity ratio test we will discuss about it now when we do buyback the shares should be fully paid up shares and there should be a gap of one year from previous buyback it means that in a, within a year you can do only one buyback one time buyback i means okay now you can purchase the shares you can do when you do the buyback you have to purchase the share you can purchase from the existing shareholders you can purchase from the open market that is from the stock exchange and you can purchase also from the employees because when we we sometimes issue shares to employees as well so now we are repurchasing those shares from employees so here when we do buyback out of profit the face value of buyback of share should be transferred to capital redemption reserve account now we have also discussed and crr account should be utilized only and only for the purpose of bonus issue now remember what is this premium on buyback the additional amount that we have paid at the time of buyback suppose the face value is of rupees 100 and we have paid 150 that 50 is the premium on buyback okay the additional amount the amount that we have paid over the face value of shares what we call it premium on buyback okay now we have discussed about the general entries also the general entries on buyback of shares out of profit so first we have to purchase the share the purchase of equity shares so we have purchased the equity shares equity share buyback account debit we have purchased the share and you have paid amount for it so equity shares buyback account debit to bank account now we have to cancel it so when we do the cancellation share capital will decrease decrease in capital debit decrease in capital debit so equity share capital account debit decrease in capital debit to equity share buyback so when you have purchased it you have debited equity share buyback account and then you have cancel it you have cancel so first you have debited and then you have credited here so decrease in capital equity share capital account debit to equity share buyback account but sometime it may happen that that you have purchased these shares from the market at over the face value suppose the share is of rupees 10 but you have purchased at rupees 15 so when you do cancellation there share capital always be recorded at face value only so when you do cancellation here equity share capital account will be debited because it is because we record share capital at face value so here equity share capital account will be debited it will be debited by face value only suppose you have paid 15 rupees so remaining 5 represent premium on buyback so premium on buyback account debit to equity share buyback so you have debited here equity share buyback and we will credit here so whether you have purchased at par or at premium if you have purchased at premium so when you will do the cancellation remember the equity share capital account will be debited by face value only and the additional amount that you have paid that will be debited to premium on buyback account now this premium on buyback account will be adjusted against it can be adjusted against securities premium account it can be adjusted against 
freezer that is profit and loss account surplus balance or generalism so you have debited here premium on buyback account now you will credit here premium on buyback account you will cancel it you will cancel it in other words you are adjusting or you are writing off premium on buyback account against securities premium or uh, securities premium or profit or profit and loss account and general reserve now if you are doing buyback out of profit so by law we have to transfer the face value of buyback of shares to a crr account so when we transfer to crr account we can utilize free reserve free reserve means any reserve that can be utilized for the purpose of dividend we call it free reserve so here example of free reserves are general reserve profit and loss account so we will debit to general reserve account debit profit and loss account debit securities premium account debit securities premium account debit what do you mean by securities why we are debiting it because we are transferring from these reserve to crr account so here credit to crr account increase in reserve and you are utilizing this reserve that's why you are debited to this reserve okay but we can also do buyback of shares out of fresh issue of shares so entry number 1 2 and 3 it will be same 1 2 and 3 it will be same and there will be no fourth entry here. no need to pass the entry of transfer to crr account because when we issue when we do buyback of shares out of fresh issue of shares when we do general entry on buyback of shares out of fresh issue of shares it means that no need to transfer to crr account we transfer to crr account only when we do buyback out of profit so here we are doing buyback out of fresh issue of shares so entry for issue of shares will come when issue shares in the market the amount will come so bank account will be debited so bank account debit to share capital account but when you issue shares at premium so entry will come bank account debit you have received the amount bank account debit to share capital account to securities premium we are issuing shares here so you will receive the amount so amount will come so bank account debit to share capital to securities premium now before we come to a question there are few points that i want to discuss with you when we will solve question you will see some points will come on sale of some investment it may happen so before i come to question we'll cons we'll discuss about that also here so write it down now write it down this is my page number 6 this is a, the book class book okay the book the study material of bb virtues okay so write down here journal entry journal entry on sale of investment journal entry on sale of investment okay journal entry on sale of investment draw this for five six lines draw this for five six lines okay so which account should be debited see a debit column and this is credit column which account should be credited okay now understand this point so okay first is sale of investment sale of investment okay suppose the price of investment suppose the cost of investment cost of investment is rupees suppose 10 crore and you sell at suppose the cost of investment is rupees 10 crore and you sell at rupees suppose 12 crore so don't you think the cost is rupees 10 crore and the cost is how much 10 crore and you sell at rupees 12 crore it means there is a profit of rupees 2 crore there is a profit of rupees how much 2 crore so how we are going to record it how we are going to record it so profit of rupees 2 crore so you have how much amount you have received on sale of this investment you have received amount of rupees 12 crore so entry will be here bank account debit you have received the amount so bank account will be debited by rupees 10 crore which account will be credited investment account but investment what is the cost of investment 10 crore so here you will you will credit to investment account you will credit to investment 
this value bank account debit means amount that you have received in our case it is 12 crore to investment account that will be the cost of investment the, okay and profit and loss account profit and loss account this is amount of profit on sale of investment profit on sale of investment so bank account debit to investment account to profit and loss account which account should be debited bank account by the amount received which account should be credited investment account with the cost or if wdb whatever at whatever value it is recorded to investment account and to profit and loss account that is profit so profit we credit to PL account so profit part will transfer to profit and loss account now second point here it may happen that we sell the investment at loss so they will give information in question and they will tell you the investment is sold at loss the so point number two here point number two now here sale of investment i will let me write sale of sale of investment at profit here and sale of investment sale of investment at loss so let me give an example of loss suppose the cost of investment is rupees 10 crores and you sell at rupees 7 crore it means there is a loss of rupees loss of rupees how much 3 crores so how we record this sale of investment at loss this one okay so you have received the amount so bank account debit so bank account bank account debit so it will be debited by bank account it will be debited by amount received how much amount you have received here 7 crores on in case of loss i am saying how much is the loss 3 crore so that loss should be debited to profit and loss account this is a loss amount Okay, what is the cost of investment? 10 crore. That will be credited to investment account. So, which account should be debited here? Which account should be debited here? Bank account with the amount received. With the amount received. Which account should be debited with the PL account? With the amount of loss and to investment account. All of you understand this? Okay. So, this is about sale of investment. So, we have discussed general entry about what entry do we pass? when we do buyback out of profit, when we do buyback out of fresh issue of shares at entry on sale of investment. Why we are discussing here the entry for sale of investment? Because when we will solve question, so sometime they, will, they give you adjustment for the sale of investment also. Now before we start question, one more point that I want to discuss with you that is general entry on issue of bonus share. Now, bonus shares is a new concept for you. Why is new concept? Because previously in old syllabus, there was a chapter, bonus issue. Now, this chapter has been shifted to CA foundation level. So, you don't have idea about what is this. You know, bonus shares means that we are issuing free of cost shares to, free of, free of cost, we are issuing shares free of cost to existing shareholder. We call it bonus shares. But you have to know what entry we pass in case of bonus shares. When we give bonus shares, what entry we pass. So, first we will discuss about the concept of bonus share, And then we will discuss what entry do we pass in case of issue of bonus shares. Okay. So, give heading there. Journal entries. Journal entries. On issue of bonus shares journal entries on issue of bonus share remember one thing before the examination or when we do the revision you just have to go through all these points that we are writing here okay all the adjustment all all the discussion i will write here in the concept builder. the blank page is given your study material which is provided by bb virtual just have to write i am writing it on page number six maybe your page number five whatever so you have to write it down after the completion of this chapter or after the discussion of all the concepts, I will share this PDF also with you. But I strongly suggest you have to write it down. What we, It will help you when you will do the revision. It will help you because you will see all the adjustment, all the discussion at one place. So, it will be easy for you when you will do the revision. Okay. Now, first, before I pass general entries for bonus issue, first understand the concept of bonus issue. 
what happened here suppose there is a company called abc limited there is a company called abc limited this is abc limited they want to issue shares to their existing share and these are their existing shareholders so what do you mean by these are their existing shareholders so these are existing shareholders okay these are existing shareholders now company wants to give bonus to their shareholders you know what is bonus something free of cost something additional we are giving okay so here abc limited giving some shares to their existing shareholder free of cost so here we are doing accounting from abc limited point of view or existing shareholders point of view no we are doing accounting here from abc limited's point of view abc limited point of view we are discussing here what entry abc limited what about existing shareholder what entry they will pass existing share accounting we will discuss here accounting of shareholders those who are receiving these uh, these uh, bonus share they will do accounting as per as per accounting standard 30 that is accounting for investment so here in this chapter we are not discussing about accounting from existing shareholders point of view or you can say investors point of view that will cover in accounting standard 13 that is accounting for investment here we are di discussing accounting from companies point of view so accounting from companies point of view i am discussing here accounting from companies point of view okay accounting from companies point of view now understand this now you tell me when the company issue shares normally when company issue shares what entry they pass because they receive the amount they have received the amount so what entry they normally what entry they pass okay what normally what entry they pass they pass entry bank account debit don't write bank you don't write it okay bank account debit because i will do some changes here bank account debit to share capital account because they have issued the shares to share capital account so bank account debit to share capital account but you tell me whether the company has received any amount here no why they have not received any amount here because because they are issuing at free of cost so these bonus share when they issue to existing shareholder they issue at free of cost so issue of issue of shares at no cost to existing shareholders to existing shareholders so company issue of shares they are issuing shares at no cost to existing shareholder so they are issuing at no cost they are issuing at no cost free of cost free of cost so i cannot say here bank account debit we cannot say bank account debit why we cannot say bank account debit because company is not receiving any amount from this existing shareholder because they are issuing this share at free of cost so here we cannot debit the company cannot debit to bank account so they should debit to some account because we follow double entry system so which account should be debited here so here we will utilize we will utilize some reserve and surplus we will utilize some reserve and surplus here so instead of bank account instead of bank account which account will be debited here here reserve and surplus account will be debited now the question arises whether all the reserve and surplus can be utilized for the purpose of bonus issue the answer is no you cannot utilize all the reserve for the purpose of bonus issue you cannot utilize all the reserve which you have received all the reserve for the purpose of bonus issue there are some reserve that can be utilized for the purpose of bonus issue so this is a no what which are those reserve we'll discuss about it we, i will write it down entries there now but you understand the concept of bonus issue that we are issuing shares free of cost to existing shareholder so we cannot debit to bank account because we are issuing shares at free of cost so here now i am discussing about the general entry just give me one okay okay 
So draw these four six seven lines. No understand this one. So which account should be debited and which account should be credited? Okay, no understand. First point here utilization utilization of reserve utilization of reserve for utilization of reserve for for issue of bonus shares So, utilization of reserve for issue of bonus shares. You can understand this point. What happened? We cannot debit to bank account. We have to utilize some reserve. So, which reserve we can utilize? You can utilize. Do you remember? Yesterday, we discussed about the CRR account. What is CRR account? Capital Redemption Reserve Account. What is this CRR account? Capital Redemption Reserve Account. So, what is this CRR? CRR, we create at the time of buyback of shares so when we do buyback sorry when we do buyback out of profit so when we do buyback out of profit as per law we have to transfer the face value of buyback of shares to which account to crr account so we have if suppose company has crr account so they have the crr account can be utilized only and only for the purpose of bonus issue if company has crr account so, company should utilize CRR account here. So, you have credited to CRR account at the time of buyback of shares out of profit. You have transferred from free reserve to CRR account. Now, you can utilize that free is you can utilize that CRR account here. So, if you when we utilize any reserve, reserves has credit balance. So, when we are utilizing any reserve, we have to debit it. So, here reserve and surplus account will be debited so here what is crr account capital redemption reserve account so you can debit to crr account or you can debit to general reserve account also general reserve account you can debit to general reserve account or you can debit a surplus balance of profit and loss account okay so you have debited to these reserve, you have debited to these reserve and surplus, you can utilize general CRR, general reserve or PNL account. And to share cap, we will do, we will credit to share capital account, don't worry. But before that, we'll, we are passing this entry of due. We are liable to pay to shareholder, we are liable to pay to shareholder. So we will credit to bonus to shareholder account, we will credit to bonus to shareholder account will credit to bonus to shareholder account so don't worry we will credit to share capital account but first we are saying we are liable to pay something to shareholder what we call it we call it bonus to shareholder account what we call it we call it bonus to shareholder account so here we have credited bonus to shareholder account here we have credited bonus to shareholder account now we will discharge this liability. We are liable to pay to bonus, shareholder bonus to shareholder. This one, okay. We are liable to pay to shareholder. So here now, we will discharge this liability and you will write down here issue of, now we are issuing bonus share. Issue of bonus share. Now we are discharging liability. So we are giving something to bonus share something to shareholder so we are we are liable to pay to bonus to shareholder now we are giving to something to shareholder so shareholder is a receiver here so you will debit bonus to shareholder account bonus to shareholder account will be debited and we are giving them equity share capital so share capital equity share cap we are giving them equity share capital so to equity share capital account equity share capital account okay so these two entry will come when if the question talks about a bonus share also the name of chapter is buyback of shares 
but sometimes they give in kosher adjustment for bonus shares also okay so bonus so these two entry will come if you observe here you have credited bonus to shareholder account here you have credited bonus to shareholder account yes or no you have credited bonus to shareholder account and you have debited here bonus to shareholder account so if you observe, you have cancelled you have first you are liable to pay something to shareholder and you have discharged this liability so first you have credited here and you have debited here so bonus to shareholder account will get cancelled here so what net entry you have passed we have passed reserve and surplus account debit you can utilize crr account general reserve account and profit and loss account so you will debit to this reserve and surplus account and you will credit to which account equity share capital account you will credit to equity share capital account. these these are the entries for issue of bonus share so we have discussed about buyback of shares out of profit buyback of shares out of fresh issue of shares general entry on sale of investment general entry for issue of bonus share from obviously from company's point of view apart from this i will also discuss about the redemption of preference not right now. after some time i will discuss about redemption of preferences also now i will discuss about the concept of redemption of preferences what entry company pass at the time of redemption of preferences you may think so why we are going to discuss about the redemption of preferences it is important because redemption of preferences is not the part of your syllabus now it is not the part of syllabus now redemption of preferences these chapter they have shifted to institute they have shifted to uh, C at C A foundation level, but why? Because sometimes when we do the question, some adjustment related to redemption of preferences will come, like some adjustment for issue of bonus shares will come. Okay, so when the adjustment for redemption of preferences will come, before that, I will discuss with you the concept of redemption of preferences also. So write down. You just have to know what entry do we pass when we issue when we do buyback out of profit. when we do buy back out of fresh issue of shares and entry for sale of investment and entry for issue of bonus share you just have to know these entries now i am coming to question but before i come to question it is very important it is very important that that when you prepare balance sheet the very important point that i want to discuss with you okay 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 remember now listen what happened they are very basic rules basics when you uh, before we come to question the few point that i want that you should know and i hope you know about it because these are very basic account. still i am discussing here just please concentrate here what happen when they will ask you question when they will ask you question what they will do they will give you old balances or i can say they will give you balance sheet that is balance sheet they will give you balance sheet. okay this balance sheet is before buyback they will give you balance sheet and this balance sheet is before the buyback of share they will give you balance sheet now you know that in balance sheet there are two side the left hand side is liability side and right hand side is asset side so here in balance sheet in balance sheet they will give you balance sheet okay so there is the asset side here there is the asset side here so asset you asset has debit balance which balance asset has asset has debit balance which balance asset has just one minute. asset has asset has debit balance which balance asset has asset has debit balances okay what am they will give you balance sheet there are two you will see their asset side and liability side and liabilities has which balance credit balance and they will give you some adjustment they will give you some adjustment so they will ask you to do they will give you some adjustment some information they will give you and they will ask you to pass journal entries of it they will ask you to pass journal entries of adjustment so we will pass journal entries we have discussed about the journal entries here journal entries uh when we do buy back out of profit out of fresh fresh issue of shares on sale of investment and bonus share we'll pass this generally according to the information given in question we'll pass the entries for it in those entry if it is asset account and if we have if we have debited if we have debited to that account in your general entries 
सो वॉट विल डू वी विल एड इट डेबिट डेबिट एड बेसिक बेसिक लेसन वॉट आप डेबिट डेबिट रिमेम्बर वन थिंग डेबिट यू सी डेबिट डेबिट वॉट हैपन वेन वी शू वेन यू सी डेबिट 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 एड देन डेबिट क्रेडिट लेस क्रेडिट 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 एड ओके एंड क्रेडिट डेबिट लेस सिंपल मैथ डेबिट डेबिट एड डेबिट क्रेडिट लेस क्रेडिट क्रेडिट एड क्रेडिट डेबिट क्रेडिट डेबिट लेस ओके नॉट हैपन ही What happened here? So asset has debit balance. Asset is debit balance that is given in balance sheet before the buyback. Balance sheet will be the before balance sheet of before buyback. They will give in question. So uh, given in balance asset side has debit balance, and in general entry that we have passed for the adjustment given in question. If you to that if to that account if we have debited, so debit debit what will do add? What will do debit debit? What will happen? Debit debit what will do add? And whatever figures come, that we will write it down in new balance sheet. That we will write it down in new balance sheet. New balance sheet. I mean to say, after buyback. This balance sheet we are preparing after buyback. So whatever figures come, we call it adjusted figure. We will write it down this adjusted figure. Adjusted figure in new balance sheet. In new balance sheet. Okay. Here, asset has debit balance. In general entry to that asset account. For example, furniture is asset. It is ten crore. And here you have debited by rupees two crore. Suppose in general entry, ten plus two, how much? Twelve. That twelve crore will write it down here. Now suppose if to that asset account you have credited in general entry. You have credited in general entry. So debit balance it has. Debit balance it has. And we have credited here. So debit. And credit, debit, credit. What we'll do? We'll deduct it. So I will deduct, and whatever figure come, that I will write it down in new balance sheet. That we will write it down new balance sheet. So it is very easy to pass general entries. But when we will prepare balance sheet, after solving some question, you will be familiar with it, and it will be easy for you. So what we will do? First, remember one thing: asset is debit balance. So debit balance. If you have debited in general entry, debit, debit plus. Asset is debit balance, so debit, and you have credited it in general entry at the time of adjustment according to adjustment given in question. So debit, credit, what will we will do? We will do minus. That's why deduct. Whatever figure come, that will the adjusted figure will write it down in new balance sheet. Okay. Now liability side, liability has credit balance. If in general entries, if in general entries, if we have credited, now credited. Liability has credit balance. If in general entry you have credit, liability has credit balance. If you have credited, credit, 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 credit. What we'll do? We'll add it. Credit, credit, add. Whatever figure come after this adjustment, we will write it down in new balance sheet. Now here, if to that liability account, if you have debited, if to that liability account, if to that liability account, if you have debited. So what we will do if you have debited to that liability account? What happened? Liability has credit balance. Liability has credit balance, credit balance, and you have debited here. Liability has credit balance. E liability has credit balance, and you have debited here. Credit debit, credit debit. What we will do? Minus. So here we will less it, and whatever figure come. We will write it down. We will write it down that we will call it adjusted figure. Okay, so we'll write it down that adjusted figure in new balance sheet. Adjusted figure. We'll write it down new balance sheet. New balance sheet means that balance sheet. They will ask you in question to pass. They will ask you in question to pass general entries of the adjustment given in question, and they will ask you to prepare new balance sheet that is after buyback. What they will give in question? They will give in question the balance sheet before the buyback, and they will give some adjustment. So we have to pass general entries on the basis of adjustment given in question, and after passing general entry, we have to prepare the balance sheet after buyback. So when we prepare balance sheet after buyback, we have to take into consideration the balance sheet which is given that is before the buyback, 
general entities that we have passed and accordingly we have to write it down the adjusted figure in new balance sheet. So this is the approach when we prepare the balance sheet. So it will help you when you will prepare the balance sheet how to write it down the figures in new balance sheet. Okay. You don't have to worry. You don't have to worry. And remember these three also. Okay. These rules. Okay. So you don't have to worry because when we will solve question after few question you will be familiar with. In fact, when we will solve this, um, when we will solve general entries here and when we will prepare balance sheet here in buyback of shares we will prepare balance sheet. Next chapter that is a financial statement of company where you will prepare balance sheet. Then amalgamation, internal reconstruction. In all these chapters we are going to prepare balance sheet. So after solving some question you will be familiar with these all these rules and it will be really easy for you to prepare balance sheet. Now I am coming to questions. So before I come to this uh, there are few more points that is related to redemption of preferences uh, that I will discuss later. Uh, whenever the adjustment will come for the redemption of preferences, before that I will discuss the concept of redemption of preferences. Now come to question number one which is given in your study material that is on page number seven. You can see in page number seven from today now I will start giving you homework also. Okay, so this C series represent that is class question. So come to question number one, come to question number one. What is given here in question number one that it is the IC study material question. Okay, you don't have to worry about the different, no need to refer the different sources. The book you have is more than sufficient because all the hundred percent question of IC study material already covered here. Then, then RTP, mock test paper, previous examination question, all are already covered in your book. Okay, no need to refer any other book. Okay, now first here, KG limit. If for reference purpose, if you want to refer any book, then I will suggest obviously IC study material. Okay, now here, KG limited furnishes the following in balance sheet as on 31st March 2021. Remember one thing: every question. When you start any question, in even in examination also, when you solve any question, first you have to go, first you have to see what is asked in that question. So directly read last line first. You are required, what you are required to pass necessary general entries. The adjustment is given there. We have to pass general entries of those adjustments and we have to prepare the balance sheet of KG limited after bonus issue. Here in this question, bonus and buyback both are given. So, we have already discussed about the bonus issue as well. In other words, here we have to pass general entries and we have to prepare balance sheet. Okay. In every question, first you have to read what is asked in the question. Here it is asked to prepare, to pass necessary general entries of the adjustment given above and we have to prepare balance sheet as well. Now the balance sheet which is given in question, these balance sheet is before the buyback and issue of bonus shares. So this adjustment is before the buyback. This balance sheet is before the buyback. Okay. Now the balance sheet that we have to prepare, which is after the buyback or and after the bonus share as well, because in the question the bonus share is also given. Okay. Now remember one more thing. There is a schedule three. What is the Schedule 3 of Companies Act? The Schedule 3 of Companies Act, okay, Schedule 3, Schedule 3 of Companies Act, Schedule 3 of Companies Act talks about the format of financial statement, talks about the format of financial statement. What is this financial statement? What is format of financial statement? The basic rule of financial statement will never change. Basic rule, assets, liabilities, the asset has debit balance, liability has credit balance. We know it. The basic rules of accounting will never change. Here, the schedule 3 of companies that talks about the format of financial statement. And that schedule 3 is a part of company's financial statement chapter that we will discuss next chapter is company financial statement where we will discuss in detail where we will discuss in detail what is this schedule 3 
what the financial how we prepare what is the format of this schedule 3 the format of financial statement that should be followed by company the format for profit and loss account the format of balance sheet in your at your foundation level or at your graduation level if you are doing this intermediate exam intermediate preparation after graduation so in foundation or in graduation maybe you have prepared in foundation 100% you have prepared the financial statement but in foundation when you have prepared the final account that you have prepared normal that of proprietorship firm or partnership firm okay normal trading account penal account and balance sheet. basic accounting rule will never change but when we prepare the financial statement of company the format is different so that is the part of next chapter but here in this chapter in this chapter that is of buyback option balance sheet will come but don't worry about the balance sheet so don't worry about the format of balance sheet this is liability side this is liability side and this is asset side. So schedule 3 says first we have to write, down, write it on equity and liability. This is liability side. This is liability side and this is asset side. Okay, this is liability side and this is asset side. Now what happened here in li on, on liability side they give the heading equity and liability. So do you remember that here suppose this is your liability. Just give me one minute. This is your liability. This is your balance sheet. Okay, normally when you prepare balance sheet, balance, this is your liability side and this is your asset side. What we write down on liability side, capital. So here we call it share capital. Share capital. We write it down uh, some uh, profit which belongs to the owner. We call it here reserve and surplus. So reserve and surplus. When you prepare normal balance sheet, okay of proprietorship firm or of partnership firm that profit belongs to the owner but here also the profit belongs to owner owners a eh? owners are shareholders here but we don't add the write it down in share capital we prepare a separate heading for it we call it reserve and surplus okay so here long term borrowing current liabilities so you can see here that this share capital reserve and surplus then long term borrowing you can see here the current liability you can see the same thing liability side but you are writing like this equity and liability shareholders they, we give heading here shareholders fund non current liability and current liability okay now asset side this asset side non current asset means long term asset property plant and equipment to fix asset now at inter level we don't call it fixed asset you will call it as, prop as property plant and equipment because there is the accounting standard 10, the accounting standard 10 don't call fixed asset, they call it PP, property, plant and equipment. So you can see this asset, fixed asset is PP is fixed asset, non-current investment is long term investment, then current asset, inventories, trade receivable, cash and cash equivalent. So here there is a different way of presentation, different way of presentation of balance sheet, that's it. But a detailed discussion of schedule 3, how, uh, schedule 3, we will do in next chapter that is financial statement of company. For this chapter, you just have to know that this is the financial, this is the format of financial statement of company. So first they write it down here, liabilities, equity and liabilities and then assets here. That's it. Okay. So here they've given that balance sheet, this balance sheet is before the buyback. So shareholders fund share capital note 1. What is note 1? We'll discuss. Note 1, 1200. And remember one thing, these figures are in lakhs. So do the correction there. Write it down. Rupees in lakhs. Write it down in your note, in your book. Rupees in lakhs. Rupees in lakhs. So rupees in lakhs. Rupees in lakhs. So here we have rupees in lakhs. So share capital. 1200 reserve and surplus note to 810 non current liabilities long term borrowings note 3 750 current liabilities trade payable 745 other current liabilities 195 this total of liability side nay asset side non current asset means long term asset uh, property plant and equipment 2000 note 4 2026 non current investment 74 then current asset, inventory 600, 
ट्रेड रिसीवेबल टू सिक्सटी कैश एंड कैश इक्वल सेवन फोर्टी एंड यू कैन सी ए टोटल ऑफ लाइबिलिटी साइड टोटल ऑफ एसेट साइड थ्री थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड नो वट इज दिस नोट वेन दिस से नोट वन टू थ्री फोर तो दे हैव गिवन नोट फॉर शेयर कैपिटल रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस लॉन्ग टर्म बोरोइंग एंड प्रॉपर्टी प्लान एंड इक्विपमेंट सो नोट मीन्स देर आर सम डिटेल्ड इंफॉर्मेशन हियर यू कैन सी शेयर कैपिटल इज थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड बट द डिटेल इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड गिवन इन नोट वन सो यू कैन सी हियर नोट्स टू अकाउंट यू कैन सी हियर नोट्स टू अकाउंट सो दीज आर नोट्स टू अकाउंट नोट्स टू अकाउंट यू कैन सी हियर नाउ शेयर कैपिटल शेयर कैपिटल सो ऑथोराइज इश्यूड एंड सब्सक्राइब कैपिटल इक्विटी शेयर कैपिटल फुल्ली पेड अप शेयर ऑफ रुपीज टेन इज थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड सो दे हैव गिवन एज द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड दैट देर आर इक्विटी शेयर ऑफ रुपीज टेन इज नाउ दे हैव गिवन द इंफॉर्मेशन ऑफ दिस टोटल एट हंड्रेड एंड टेन यू कैन सी यर नोट टू यू कैन सी यर नोट टू इज रिलेटेड टू रिजर्व नोट टू एट हंड्रेड एंड टेन इज रिलेटेड टू रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस नोट टू एट हंड्रेड एंड टेन इज रिलेटेड टू रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस सो हियर यू कैन सी रिजर्व एंड सरप्लस सिक्योरिटीज प्रीमियम बैलेंस वन सेवेंटी फाइव जनरल रिजर्व बैलेंस टू सिक्सटी फाइव कैपिटल रिडेमशन रिजर्व टू हंड्रेड Profit and loss account one seventy. So total is eight hundred and ten. The total detail of this eight hundred ten given these reserves cover under reserve and surplus. Now note number three related to long term borrowing. In long term borrowings, they have twelve percent debenture of rupees seven fifty. Okay. Now here you can see note number four. Note number four that is two thousand twenty six. Note number four. Note number four. How much they have in note number four? Two thousand and twenty-six. So here they will they given us the details here. Property, plant, and equipment. So land and building is of rupees thousand eight hundred. Plant and machinery is of rupees two twenty-six. And net carrying amount. Carrying amount means book value. Okay. Carrying amount means book value. There is two thousand twenty-six. They use the word net because it is after the obviously adjustment of depreciation. So here it is a WDB. Okay, that's why they use the word net. Anyways, the total of land and building, plant and machinery that's come two thousand twenty six. So the balance sheet is given, and notes to account is given, and this balance sheet is before the buyback. Now the adjustment is given here. On on first of April twenty twenty one, the company announced the buyback of twenty five percent of its equity share at rupees fifteen per share. So on first of April. 2021 the company announced the buyback of 25% of its equity share at rupees 15 per share so now company doing not 100% just 25% of its equity share they are doing the buyback at what price they are doing buyback they are doing buyback at rupees 15 per share what is the face value of share face value of share which is given in question is rupees 10 how much is the face value the face value of share is rupees 10 And they are doing buyback at rupees fifteen. It means face value is rupees ten, and they are doing buyback price. So buyback price at rupees fifteen. It means how much is premium on buyback? Premium on buyback is rupees how much? Five. So premium on buyback is rupees five. Okay. Now. For this purpose, it sold all of its investment for rupees seventy five lakh. So they sell the in all of its investment for rupees seventy five lakh. So you know that what entry should be passed when we do the sale of investment. Here they have sold the investment at rupees seventy five lakhs, and the book value of investment is not seventy five; it is seventy four. So they sell the investment of rupees seventy four lakh. This so they have so they have sold the investment of rupees seventy four lakh. At rupees seventy five lakhs, what does it mean? It means that there is a profit of rupees one lakh. It means that it means that there is a profit of it means that there is a profit of rupees one lakh. Okay, so there. Okay, we'll record it. Okay, now this is about on first of April twenty twenty one. Now this is about fifth of April twenty twenty one. The company achieved the target of buyback. What do you mean by company achieve the target of buyback? There are some tests. 
that should be fulfilled by company before the buyback. Those conditions are related to resource test, shares outstanding test and debt equity ratio test. So we don't have to worry about those tests. We have not yet discussed about those tests yet. We'll do it. Later we, I will, we will discuss about those tests also. There are some conditions. Apart from those tests, there are some other conditions also. Like it should be authorized by article of association. There should be a special resolution. So all those conditions are fulfilled. Okay. So on 13th of April 2021, the company issued one fully paid up equity share of rupees 10 by way of bonus shares for every four equity share held by the equity shareholder. Now what happened here? Now understand the cycle here. Understand it. So whatever I write, this is your the study material. So whatever, this is a soft copy. So whenever I write anything here, you have to write it down. The material you have. Okay. So understand the cycle here. What happened here? Or understand the cycle here. What happened here? On. So let me write here. Okay, this is question number. So here, question number, today is day two. Question number one. Okay, we are doing a buyback of It is a notebook. Huh? Buyback of securities. Give the heading new chapter in your notebook. Huh? Buyback of securities. All the concept, we write it down in study material. Okay, so buyback of securities. Give the heading buyback of securities. We are solving question number one, which is given on page number seven, which is given on page number seven. So we'll write it down like this. Question number one on page number seven. Question number one on page number seven. Okay. So question number one on page number seven. Now understand this problem. What happened here? Understand the cycle here. And you don't have to just one. Okay, you don't have to draw this cycle in examination. So I'm using the red box here. Why I'm using this red box to understand the to understand the cycle here. You don't have to write it down in examination. Okay, you understand this one. What happened here? The company announced for the just let, first let me write it down. Okay, listen. So on 1st of April 2021, the company announced for announced for announce for buyback you can see announce for buyback on 1st of april they have announced for buyback 25 percent they are doing the buyback attribute and they have also sold the investment so announce for buyback and investment sold and investment sold so announce for buyback and investment sold on 1st of april here on 5th of April 2021, they have actually done the buyback. They have actually done the buyback. How much buyback they have done? They have done the buyback just 25%. Okay. So, how much capital they have? If the to this is the amount of capital, this 1200 is the amount of capital. But if I calculate this on number of shares, this 1200 is amount of total capital and rupees in lakhs. Okay. 1200, 1200 and the value of one share is rupees 10. Value of one share is rupees 10. So, 1200 divided by 10, that's come 120 shares. 120, basically it is 120 lakhs shares. Because all figures here are in lakhs. You can see here, rupees in lakhs. This 1200 is in lakhs. Okay, the so divide by 10 share of one share is of rupees 10. So, how many shares you have? 120 lakhs shares. So, we are doing buyback here, 25 percent only. So, 120 lakhs shares, we are doing buyback of 25 percent only. So, 120 multiplied by 25 percent, that's come 30 lakh shares, 30 lakh shares. So, we are doing here buyback of 30 lakh shares. So, here on 1st of April, we have announced for buyback. Here on 5th of April, we have actually done the buyback. But it is mentioned in question that here later on, that is on 30th of April 2021, the company have act, has actually issued the bonus shares. So, bonus shares for every 4 shares, for every 4 shares, for every 4 share, they have given them 1 shares. So, suppose you are my shareholder. 
your existing share for every four share i am giving you one share as bonus share free of cost so here on 30th of april here on 30th of april 2021 30th of april 2021 i am giving bonus shares i am giving bonus shares okay i am giving you bonus share now understand this point when i am giving you bonus shares when i am giving you bonus shares okay but how many shares actually exist when i am giving you bonus shares so total number of shares company has before buyback 120 lakh shares the company has 120 lakh shares out of 120 lakh shares i have repurchased it i have buy back it i have repurchased it 30 lakh shares so out of 120 lakhs 30 lakh shares 30 lakh shares buy back buy back okay buy back out of 120 lakh shares i have repurchased how many shares i have repurchased 30 lakh shares i have repurchased so how many shares i have how many shares i have i have now at the time of buyback i have just 90 lakh shares how many shares i have 90 lakh shares because i out of 120 i have repurchased 30 lakh shares so how many shares i have 90 lakh shares for every one four share for every four share i am giving you for every four shares I am giving you one share as bonus share. So you have 90 lakh shares, 90 lakh shares. For every four shares, I am giving you one share as bonus share. So 90 divided by 4, 90 divided by 4, that's come 22.5. Don't tell me, sir, it is 0.5. How can you give the shares in fraction? We cannot give shares in fraction. But here, this 22.5 lakhs, it means. 22 lakh 50 thousand shares it is so shares are not actually in fraction so it's 22 lakh 50 thousand shares 22.5 lakhs shares shares okay so here this is summary of this question okay so why we have given bonus shares for this 90 lakh shares to this 90 lakh shares only because out of 120 30 lakh shares you have already buy back here. How much left? 90 lakh shares left. How many shares left? 90 lakh shares left. So, so 90 lakhs for every 4 shares we are giving them how many shares? 1 share. So 9 for every 4 shares they, we are giving them 1 share. So how many shares we have? 22.5 lakhs shares we have given as bonus share. Now we have to pass journal entry. So first they have asked us to pass the journal entries and then we will discuss about the balance sheet. So write it down there, write it down there. The first that they have asked you, first that they have asked you, journal entries, journal entries, journal entries in the books of, in the books of KG Limited, rupees in, lakhs rupees in lakhs now draw these for at least draw this at least for one page it will take okay so draw the at least for one page okay one draw you draw for at least one page okay Okay, so rupees in lakhs, debit, credit. Okay, one more column of date also. Okay. Okay, now write down one by one. So first we are doing the entries for buyback. That is on 1st April. 1st of April. Actually we have announced but we will do the entry for buyback on 5th of April. Before that we have sell the investment here. So here on 1st 2021 April 1st. 2021 April 1st. We will sell the investment. 
How much is the book value of investment? The book value of investment is rupees 74 lakh. And we have sold the investment at rupees 75 lakh. So investment of rupees 74 lakh, we sold at rupees 75 lakh. It means there is a profit of 1 lakh. So bank account debit, first bank account debit. How much you have received? 75 lakhs. Bank account debit. Two, investment account. What is the book value of investment? 74 lakh. This is the profit of 1 lakh. This profit we transfer to PL account. We can write it down profit and loss account. In bracket, you can write it down profit on sale of investment. Profit on sale of investment. Okay. Being, being investment sold, being investment sold on profit, being investment sold on being investment sold on profit. Being investment sold on profit. Okay. Now, on 5th of April, on 5th of April, we have actually done the buyback. We have actually done the buyback. Now, understand this point. When we have sell, we have purchased the, um, when we do the buyback, how many buyback? We are doing 25%. So, we how much is 25%? That is 30, 30 lakh shares. How much? 30 lakh shares. So here, 30 lakh shares. So 120 lakh share, uh, shares, 25% buyback. It means 30 lakh shares. We are purchasing it. We are purchasing at what price? 15 rupees. So do you remember those general entries that we have discussed here? When you purchase it, equity share buyback account debit to bank account. Equity share buyback account debit to bank account. But we are purchasing not at rupees 10 per share. We are purchasing at rupees 100 and uh, sorry, we are purchasing not at rupees 10, we are purchasing at rupees 15. Okay, so here, write down here, write down here, we have purchased equity share, so equity share, equity share, buyback account debit, equity share, buyback account debit, 30 lakh shares. 30 lakh shares, we have purchased at rupees 15. So, 30 lakhs multiplied by 15, that's rupee, all the figures are in lakhs. Huh? That's why don't, don't write 30 lakhs. No. 30 lakhs, don't write normal figure. Okay, The rupee is in lakhs. Huh? So that's 450 lakhs. 30 multiplied by 15, that is 450. So, equity share buyback account debit to bank account. To bank account. How much it is? 450. So, here being the payment, being the payment made on account of, on account of, on account of buyback of 30 lakhs equity shares, 30 lakhs equity shares. Okay, 30 lakhs equity shares. Okay, 30 lakhs equity shares. Now, we have to cancel it. Now, what will be next entry here? Now, what will be next entry here? We have purchased it. The next entry is the cancellation. Whether we have purchased at par or premium, we have purchased at premium. Whether we have purchased at par or at premium, we have purchased at premium. So, now we will cancel it. Equity share capital account. It should be debited by face value. So, face value is 10. Premium is how much? 5. To equity share buyback account. So, write down here. Next entry. Here, equity share equity share capital account debit. Equity share capital account debit. 30 lakhs shares. 30 lakh shares. Face value is rupees 10. Premium on premium on buyback account debit 30 lakh shares 
of rupees 5. So 30 multiplied by 10, it's come 300 and it will come 4, 150. Two, equity share buyback account. Equity share buyback account. Total is 450. So if you observe here, so first you have debited equity share buyback account here by rupees 450 and you have credited here equity share buyback account by rupees 450. Okay, so that equity share buyback account get cancelled. First you have purchased it and then cancel against share capital. Okay, so remember always we record in equity share capital account, always we record at face value only. Because when you issue shares, you record at face value in capital account. Okay, now the premium that you have paid at the time of buyback. So here the premium on buyback is rupees 5 per share. Write down narration here. Being cancellation, being cancellation of shares bought back. Being cancellation of shares bought back. Being cancellation of shares bought back okay being cancellation of shares bought back okay now we are here on fifth we have repurchased it okay we didn't buy back remember one thing now before we come to 30th of april that is for the bonus issue whether any information first you have to know whether this buyback is out of profit or out of fresh issue of shares so we will call it out of fresh issue of shares only and only when it is mentioned in question that they have issued some shares in the market. If nothing is mentioned about the issue of shares, then we have to assume that it is out of profit only. So, here whether any information is given that they have issued any shares in the market, the answer is no. If it is not mentioned that they have issued any shares in the market, so what we will call it, it is buyback of shares out of profit. So, when we say it is buyback of shares out of profit, then we have to pass entry for this that for this transfer to CRR account. So, we will transfer it to CRR account also. But remember one thing, the premium on buyback if you have, that has to be adjusted. That has to be adjusted. Against, you can add this against securities premium, you can add this against penal and you can add this against generalism. So, whether we have balance in securities premium, just one minute. Whether we have any balance in, in quotient, if you see, whether we have any balance in securities premium account, yes. So, you can write it of this premium and buyback against security premium, general reserve and penal. So, we have 175 in securities premium, 175. How much we want to write it of? How much we want to write it of? We want to write it of 150. How much we want to? How much we want to? write it off we want to write it off 150 so next entry will be to write off premium on buyback that can be write off against securities premium that we can write off against general reserve or penal account so we have enough balance in securities premium account that is 175 and we want to write off 150 so we can easily write it off so next entry write down next entry is and same if we are passing all these entry on 5th of april only so, securities premium account debit, securities premium account debit, 150, 2, premium on buyback account, premium on buyback account, 150, premium on, so securities, so we, you have, debited here premium on buyback account by rupees 150 and then you have cancelled this premium on buyback account by crediting here okay so write down here being premium on buyback adjusted adjusted against securities Securities premium account adjusted against securities premium account. Okay, adjusted against securities premium account. Now we have passed these entries 
if we have passed these entries that pause for the purchase of these shares and then cancellation and then write off this premium on buyback against we have enough balance here in securities premium so we have write it off against securities premium now we have to transfer to crr account we have to transfer to crr account so why i am saying that we have to transfer to crr account if nothing is mentioned about the issue of shares then we will assume that it is out of profit only so what we call it it is out of profit only okay we will call it is out of profit if it is out of profit we have to transfer to which account we have to transfer to crr account but when you transfer to crr account you can utilize general reserve you can utilize profit and loss account and you can utilize securities premium also but remember one thing i have observed that institute when they transfer to crr account generally they don't utilize securities premium account i mean to say it is not prohibited here at the time of buyback to utilize securities premium account to transfer to crr account but i observe that institute utilize securities premium account to transfer to crr only as a last resort what do you mean last resort it means that first they give preference to general reserve profit and loss account if they don't have balance in general and profit and loss account general reserve and profit and loss account then at last lastly they transfer it to lastly they utilize securities premium account so don't give the preference to securities premium account first give preference to general reserve or profit and loss account. if you don't have balance in general reserve or in profit and loss account then only utilize the securities premium account so how much amount should we transfer to crr account we will transfer to crr account the face value of equity shares buyback that as per law we have to transfer to crr account how many shares that we have buyback here the face value of shares that we have in buyback is 300 so face value equity share capital what is the face value of the shares of buyback of share is 300 so 300 should be transferred to crr account now if we see in question whether we have 300 in general reserve p l account so note two we have balance of rupee 265 in general reserve so we will utilize 265 of general reserve and in p l account we, we the balance surplus balance of p l account is how much 170 so what we will do we will utilize 265 from general reserve we will utilize 265 from general reserve and total how much we require to transfer to CRR 300 that is face value of buyback of share that is 300 so out of 300 265 will be utilized from general reserve and remaining 35 we will utilize from profit and loss account again I am saying when you do buyback out of profit we have transferred to CRR account face value of buyback of share you can utilize securities premium account but I have observed that the ICI utilize securities premium account in the solution generally when they have no other option. It means that when they don't have enough balance in general reserve and profit and loss account, then only they utilize this securities premium account. So we, we will do the same here. So we have enough balance in general reserve that is 265. Total we require 300 and remaining 35 will utilize from profit and loss account. So write down here next general entry next general entry that is general reserve account debit general reserve account debit 265 profit and loss account debit so total we require 300 out of 265 we have adjusted against general reserve 35 out of profit and loss account 2 capital redemption reserve account capital redemption reserve account capital redemption reserve account is how much 300 so being being amount equal to equal to face value of face value of buyback of shares face value of buyback of shares transferred to capital redemption 
कैपिटल रिडेम्शन रिजर्व अकाउंट एज पर लॉ एज पर लॉ सो न वी हैव पास ऑल दी जनरल एंट्रीज फॉर बाय बैक ऑफ शेयर नाउ इट इज ऑल्सो मेंशन इन क्वेश्चन to do what to to uh, to they are also issue the bonus share so we have also do the accounting of issue of bonus share so i hope all of you understand this the entry of buyback now here for your reference i am writing here that these entries is of what buyback now we are doing accounting for now bonus so we have already discussed about the bonus shares entries also so how many how many uh, how many bonus shares they are giving they are giving bonus share 22 lakh 50000 okay for every four share they are giving one as bonus share so 90 lakhs is the total number of shares 90 lakhs is the total number of share so for every four 90 lakhs total number of share which is existed on the date they are issuing bonus share so they have 90 lakh shares because out of 120 30 lakhs they have done the buyback here on 5th of april only so here 90 lakhs For every four share, they are giving how many share? They are giving one share. So ninety divided by four, ninety divided by four, multiply by one. That is twenty two point five lakh share. Twenty two point five lakh share. Okay. So ninety divided by four, multiply by one. Ninety divided by four, multiply by one. One that's come twenty two point five lakh share. Okay. So here, what entry do we pass when we do when we issue bonus shares? We have discussed about it today. so here first we have to because we cannot say bank account debit so we have to utilize reserve and the most we can utilize we can utilize for the issue of bonus shares we first preference should be given to crr only you know why because crr account is the most restricted reserve it can be utilized only and only for the purpose of bonus issue now if you are issuing bonus share so don't you think should be first utilize crr account because it can be utilized only for the purpose of bonus issue and we are issuing bonus share so let's utilize the crr account first but how many bonus share 22.5 multiply by 10 that's come 225 okay so whether we have balance of 225 in crr account so we will see here in uh, yes we have already here 200 balance you have here in crr account okay and it means in past you have done some Uh, buy back so in past you have you have balance 200 in your crr account and here also you have transfer in crr account na here how much you have transfer 300 so 200 you have already have and 300 you have transfer how much total you have 500 now how much we require 225 uh, 22.5 multiply by 10 that's come 225 so 225 we require and we have 500 because already given in balance sheet 200 and we have transfer just now 300 we have total 500 in crr so now we are issuing bonus share so whenever i say utilize reserve we are cancelling we are reducing that reserve reserve has credit balance and when we utilize we have to debit it so we will debit here that is on april 5th april not 5th 30 april 30 capital 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 redemption capital redemption reserve account debit capital redemption reserve account debit that is 22.5 lakh shares multiply by 1 is of rupees 10 1 is of rupees how much 10 i will make a working note on how i have calculated this you will make a working note on it we can write down here working note one i will prepare on How many number of buy? This year we have discussed roughly. Na? We'll make a working note on it. Don't worry. Okay. So this twenty two point five lakhs. We we'll first working note on the number of buyback of shares. Second will be on bonus shares. Write down here working note number two. Okay. So first will be on how many number of shares we are doing buyback. Okay. Number that is thirty lakh shares. Okay. So here just one minute. Write it down here working note number one here. So this working how we have calculated this thirty lakhs. Okay, thirty lakhs. We will make a working note. So this is working note number one. Working note number one. This is working note number one. Equity share buyback. Okay, working note number one, and this is working note number two. So it will come two twenty five. Two twenty five. So equity share buyback. Sorry, capital redemption reserve account debit to bonus to shareholder. 
Now, bonus to shareholder. We are liable to pay something to bonus, uh, something to shareholder. So, we call it bonus to shareholder account. We are liable to. It's a liability. Increase in liability, credit. So, being the utilization, being the utilization of capital redemption reserve account capital redemption reserve account to issue bonus shares to issue bonus shares okay now first we have credited here to bonus to shareholder account first we have credited here bonus to shareholder account now we will cancel it we will give them actually we will allot them shares so your next entry a bonus to shareholder account debit 225 to equity share capital account to equity share capital account 225 being issue of one bonus equity share being issue of one bonus equity shares for every four equity shares every four equity shares so here we are giving them we have issue we have a lot them shares so first we are liable to pay to shareholders so first we have credited here bonus to shareholder now you have debited here so you have cancelled it so ultimately ultimately what entry you have passed you have passed reserve account debit to equity share capital yes or no reserve account debit to equity you have cancelled this bonus to shareholder but first we have to pass entry due and then actual allotment okay if you see here if you see here so to make it just one minute what entry do if i if we give the net effect so what entry we cannot pass bank account debit to we cannot pass bank account debit to share capital because we are not receiving any amount here so what entry we have passed crr account debit to equity share capital because this get cancelled na bonus to shareholder first you have credited it, but you have to pass entry like this only yeah? we are liable to pay the so credit increase in liability credit and then you have debited decrease in liability So this is all about the journal entry that we have passed. Now remember one thing. Remember one thing. What happened here? As I told you yesterday, that section sixty-eight says that that replacement of capital should be capital. In every question, you have to cross-check it at the end. The replacement of capital should be with the capital. So here, if you observe, what do you mean by replacement of capital should be with the capital? Here you have. Uh, here you have. Credited, uh, sorry, debited this share capital by rupees three hundred. So what is this three hundred? This is decrease in capital. This is decrease in capital. Yes or no? Yes, decrease in capital. So with the same amount, capital should be increased also as per law. So here we have not issued any shares in the market. So there is no increase in capital right now. But there is increase. There will be. But here what happened? Here. You have transferred to CRR account. Here you have transferred to CRR account. So if you have transferred to CRR account, there will be increase in in capital, increase in capital at the time of at the time of issue of bonus share because bo because CRR can be utilized only and only for the purpose of. Bonus issue. There will be increase in capital, increase in capital, increase in capital at the time of issue of bonus shares. Increase in capital at the time of issue of bonus shares. Okay, so so you have can decrease the capital by rupees three hundred, and not immediately you have increased the capital by rupees three hundred, but you have transferred it to CRR account. That will be ultimately converted into equity share capital account only. Okay. So, so here there will be replacement of capital with capital only. So out of in fact out of three hundred, you have issued the equity share of rupees two twenty five now. So remaining will be issued later. So remember, 
at the time of buyback there is a decrease in capital but at the same time there should be increase in capital it is as per law it is a requirement of companies act so that increase in capital if you issue the same number of shares in the market immediately there is an increase in capital also but if you are not issuing share in the market we are doing buyback out of profit in that case as per law we have to transfer to which account we have transferred to crr account so we have transferred the same amount 300 to crr remember this okay now we will prepare working note so there are two working note you already know about it how many number of buyback of shares and how many number of uh, that is bonus share just make a working note on it working note working note number 1 so number of number of buyback of share number of buyback of shares this in lakhs it is okay so total shares total shares number of shares they have total amount of share capital is 1200 and face value of one share is rupees 10 so how much it is 120 lakh share 120 lakh shares so here buyback of shares equals to 120 lakh shares multiply by 25% that come 30 lakh share working note number 2 number of bonus shares allotted number of bonus shares allotted total they have 120 lakhs out of 120 30 they have done the buyback so for every four shares they are giving one that's come 22.5 lakhs shares 22.5 lakhs shares how much they have 22.5 lakhs shares okay okay all of you 22.5 lakh shares Okay, 22.5 lakhs shares. Okay, then now they have also asked you to prepare what? They have also asked to prepare what balance sheet. Now I am giving you break for 10 minutes and then we'll start preparing of what balance sheet. We'll start preparing of what balance sheet. We'll start. Okay. Now you have break for 10 minutes. <laughs> 